Hey everyone, my name is Greg Mladicki, and today I'm going to be walking you through setting up the Pushable Actor to work with a couple different templates. A few people have asked questions like if the Pushable Actor would work with other templates and camera styles, uh, that being like first person, top down, side scrollers. Uh, and yes, for the most part, the Actor itself should work with any of these states. Uh, the one exception being things like the uh, 2D paper uh, projects. So I'd like to go over them just to help people get going a little bit faster. Just note that the character and animation blueprints in general are something that I'm trying to make easier in future updates. Uh, making that process of uh, transferring blueprints over and merging them together a little bit easier just by limiting the number of functions and variables that you need to kind of uh, copy and paste. That does mean more is going to be moved into the pushable actor itself uh, instead of the character class, but the overall process of merging and using it should be made easier. Now, I've already gone over the migrate process in a previous video. Uh, you can find the link to it in the video description below. Uh, so I want to skip that part for this tutorial and instead jump right into kind of uh, merging blueprints and getting them working inside different templates. Um, just because this will be a little bit faster and easier for everyone. Uh, if you're not sure how to migrate uh, all the assets from one project to another, uh, check out the link uh, and see if you can get yourself up to speed with just moving files from one project to another. So instead of using different projects, I'm just going to add each different uh, template content to this existing uh, project. This project being just a downloaded version of the Pushable Actor. Again, this is just to keep uh, everything a little bit faster, uh, saving time and space. Um, but once all the assets are in the same project, this merging process is identical. Um, with the exception of uh, having the input already in place here, which I'm still going to show you how to add input uh, events and things like that anyway. One final note is that I'm planning on breaking these videos up into a series, uh, each one kind of focusing on a different game type. Uh, this will help keep video length down uh, and let anyone kind of jump to the type they want to uh, integrate to. Um, I'll start over from scratch each time for each video. Uh, so you won't miss anything if you do want to skip ahead. So I'll wrap up this kind of overview here and we can move on in the next video to creating the side scroller template and merging the pushable actor into that. If anyone's interested, I do also have a more in-depth tutorial on how the interaction system works in the character. Uh, I use this for a lot of other things, so uh, I decided to make a uh, video tutorial out of it. Uh, if you're interested, check it out in the description. Otherwise, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.